Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on April 7th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we always look at space weather, world weather, and disaster alerts from around the world, keeping you aware and prepared as we're looking at at a pretty active sunspot. That's right, this is the most activity that we've seen in quite a while. And there's even some images missing from this animation as SDO went down yesterday. There's also an equatorial hole building southward moving north. Can't really see it under this one. But at 211, we can. You can see the coronal hole building right here. And spreading across the sun. Be keeping an eye on it because there is a sunspot, if you'll notice, on the backside of this coronal hole. You see that? A little flare up. So. We're going to be keeping an eye on our solar situation as well. As we do have some incoming space weather, our solar winds have died down immensely to almost 300 kilometers per second. So we're expecting some cosmic energy. We're expecting some space weather very soon. When you see a decline like this, we can expect something incoming and I'm keeping an eye on the magnetosphere and as well earthquakes looking here the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world just recently we had a 5.1 in a warned region as well South Sandwich Islands South Georgia there are some pretty strong low pressure and high pressure battles going on there Atmospheric compression earthquakes. Uh, 4.5 here, South American plate, Chile. And as well, a pretty sizable 4.0 in Puerto Rico today. 4.3 here in Santa Rosalia, Mexico. At a 10 kilometer depth. And the quakes continue in Cascade, Idaho. 2.7. And as well, a 2.7 here in Darrington, Washington. Over to the Australian plate, L'Esperance Rock with a 5.0, 400 kilometer, 425 kilometer depth, as well, 5.2 Tonga region. Recent as well, a 4.2, Sinabang, Indonesia. 4.4 here. In the corner of the India and the China plate, Eurasia plate, There's something's wrong here. Wait a minute. I don't think this is the last 24 hours. Let me have a little look see here. No, it's not. Wow, that was only the last six hours, guys. Uh, this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Isn't that something? That's a very busy 24 hours for earthquakes around the world in these warned regions as well. Kamchatka, South Sandwich Islands. So those have been, I've been bang on there with those warned regions. Now the other warned region was the Cascades. So we're still on watch here in the red zone, subduction zone, North American plate. Let's just have a look-see the last seven days for earthquakes and see what's up. And you can see across the North American plate, a lot of shallow quakes compared to the rest of the world around the ring of fire, where most of the quakes are. There's deep rumbles all across Western, Northwestern, Southeastern ring of fire, everything but the Northeast ring of fire, North American plate, where all these shallow quakes are occurring 
and I'm really watching this area here for volcanic activity over the next few days. Pretty quiet across the African plate. Not much to worry about there though, as all the action is over here. Ring of fire, deep earthquakes, Tonga region again. Watch for that to bounce back to the North American plate. Let's have a look at the Pacific disaster alert. Most recent volcanoes getting updated was Dokono in Indonesia, as well Fuego in Guatemala just recently, uh, Popo in Mexico, uh, Sabancaya in Peru, Ibu in Indonesia, and the regular volcanoes in Japan. So that's eight volcanoes that have been updated in the past four hours. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to The Daily Do, where I give you an update from around the world on the latest disasters and as well volcanic activity and severe weather. Watching across North America, still flooding conditions across Central. And then watching this vigorous, deep lower level low hammering the BC coastline right now. A piece of it broke off, created Alberta Clipper. It's going to be heading east to northeast into the Yukon and then sent east across Brazil and Colombia. A lot of storms were popping up yesterday. Some areas turned day into night. But if you look at the size of that swirl over top of South America, that is a huge push and a low pressure swirl that's going to be heading to the, to the equator. And you've got the same thing happening in the Pacific Ocean just east of Hawaii and north of Hawaii. Some very large, lower level, deep lower level, low pressure systems. And that's what I've been warning for the past three years is that these are getting bigger. And now I see it unfolding before my eyes. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in every day to the Daily Do, keeping you aware and prepared. Looking across home base here, five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Cold temperatures coming back. That's right, I said it. They are coming back. Pretty strong high-pressure ridge, which I was talking about last week over the Hudson Bay. It just kept fueling down all those cold temps from Greenland. Watch as low pressure or that uh, Alberta clipper heads east and brings a real mixed bag of precipitation. And look how it forms into three other low pressure systems right off the Atlantic coastline here. One, two, three low pressure systems involved in that. And they're just going to keep joining forces, getting bigger. Strong high pressure ridge across, across Europe. But cooler temperatures moving in later in the week as a pretty large and vigorous winter storm affects northern Finland and parts of western Russia later in the week. So winter is far from over for the northern hemisphere right now. It seems that way. Just look at the size of the low pressure systems. And the same thing is happening in the Pacific. Y'all seen the movie The Day After Tomorrow? <laughs> because that's what's happening, folks. Much love to you all. But things are really about to get hectic. Monsoon season moving into parts of Indonesia and Malaysia. Dry conditions continuing across India and Western Thailand. Heavy rains for Southern China later in the week, coastal regions, as that another huge whipping low pressure system comes out of China. Now, interesting enough, I've done a study on the weather modifications in China, 
would they have the largest weather modification station in the world? Please check out the video. Link is right here. Watching the forecast later in the week. Cyclone Herald is a category three cyclone and will be crossing Fiji as we speak. If you want to go check out some satellite imagery, I'm live right now. Um, so yes, it will be heading into the South Pacific. We'll see how long he lasts. South America, daily evaporation rains, but they will persist and they will be very heavy throughout parts of Colombia and as well coastal regions, Panama. As what I had pointed out with the Pacific Disaster Center, the large system that is forming over South America. Leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. I want to welcome all of my new friends and family from around the world. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining the family. Thanks to all the supporters. Thanks for the donations. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.